And that's it. They're all in. And they're away. Niche with the white face breaks very fast in the centre. And Palace Gate uh, over on the far side. Palace Gate episode running very fast indeed. Palace Gate episode. Milliant and Niche are the three leaders. And right over on the right running very fast is Sabre Rattler and the Brinkers of the first time. Marchwell Lad just in behind him. But Palace Gate episode just the leader on the far side from Milliant. Niche in the centre. And Sabre Rattler over on, the over on the right of the picture. And right over on the left the Irish challenger Preponderance running well too. They're past the two furlong pole in the Mulcombe and it's Billy Ant and uh, Michael Roberts who've just taken it up now as they race towards the furlong pole. Niche is under pressure and making no progress. It's Billy Ant being pressed by Palace Gate episode over on the far side. Niche is making ground now but Billy Ant has the advantage. They race up towards the line. Billy Ant is going to win it under Michael Roberts and at the line. Billy Ant is the winner. Palace Gate episode is second and third is Niche and four came the Irish Challenger episode who ran a, a preponderance rather who ran a very fair race indeed looking right back to last it was uh, March will lad and so the result of the Philip Corns Mulcombe Stakes the second year of sponsorship this by Philip Corns first number eight million owned by Brad Mill Limited trained by Ray Guest, what a great triumph for Ray, and written by Michael Roberts, puts uh, Michael Roberts on the 130 mark for the season. Second was number nine, Palace Gate episode, owned by Palace Gate Corporation Limited, trained by Jack Berry and written by Alan Munro. And third was number three, the favorite niche on whom Lester Piggott was bidding to win his ninth milk of no less owned by Lord Carnarvon, niche, trained by Richard Hannan, and written by Lester. Fourth was preponderance.